the dude who jerks off and looks like he plays League of Legends all day has been sentenced to a quarter century behind bars. Now, initially, it was anywhere between 45 to 50 years. Got a good lawyer. He bumped it down. But to be honest, I don't think the prison stuff is even the worst thing he has going on right now. I'll explain. His girlfriend, Caroline Ellison. <laughs> Check this out. Caroline Ellison. She looks like a young Mitch McConnell. Look at this. <laughs> is the 25 years that bad? Is it that bad? He's a billionaire, or at least he was a billionaire up until November of 22. And he's hidden on this. In 2021, the guy moved to the Bahamas with this girlfriend of his. And now she's roaming the streets, the Bahama nightclubs, the Oro nightclub, the Atlantis Paradise Island, Charlie's on the beach. She's there getting some sun while her boyfriend who defrauded people of billions of dollars is out in the streets. But you know, I'm not even mad at Sam Bankman Freed. The guy who I really have a problem with is me. I have a problem with myself because people like me are the reason we got outplayed by a nerd. I follow Tom Brady on Instagram. I remember a few years ago, he posted a video with Sam Bankman Freed saying, hey, I'm with my boy, catch us outside. Uh, and I thought this guy was the coolest guy in the world. I'm like, you know what? For a dork, he's not that bad. I genuinely thought a guy who could ride with the GOAT, the former New England Patriot, Tom Brady, a guy who paid him $55 million for hanging out with him 60 hours of work in the week. That guy was the one that I was envious of at the time. And you know what? I wish he didn't get caught. I think it'd be better for everybody if Sam SBF did not get caught. He defrauded investors for billions of dollars. And if you weren't a nerd, he wouldn't have got caught. Here's the thing you got to understand about nerds. Nerds are not good at lying. They're not good at deceiving. They're not good at manipulating the truth for an extended period of time. Now, Sam was smart. He went to MIT. He got good grades. He was able to network, but he's still a dork. This is the guy you would turn on your PC for and roast through a headphone while your mom would tell you, keep it down. This is the guy they got picked on in high school severely, severely. In high school, you had different types of groups and you had different types of hierarchies. You had the popular kids, you had the hot chicks, you had the fat chicks who would ride with the hot chicks but were still invited to everything because the daddy had a boat. You had the school jocks, the misunderstood. Are you really misunderstood or are you just not cool? They're kind of in the middle. No one really fucks with them because they're weird but they're not the worst. And then you have the dorks. You have the straight A students, you have the Sam Bankman Freeds. So it's easy to predict that by the time he arrived to high school, he's like, you know what? They can make fun of me now, but in 10 years, it's all gonna be different. I'm gonna be 29, 30 years old, 
at the top of the fucking world. And none of these jocks, none of these chads, they're not going to tell me nothing. I'm going to have billions of dollars saved up in the bank. And I'm going to go to the Bahamas. I'm going to spend it on hookers. I'm going to spend it on drugs. And I'm going to spend it on my hot ass girlfriend who really never existed. It's funny being that rich because it shows you that money can get you a lot of stuff, but it can only get you so much. I'm sure he wanted a hotter girlfriend. Guys, I'm not I'm not even being a dick. I'm sure I don't care how you I'm sure he wanted a hotter girlfriend. Like, dude, she's got at least a tiny bit of the tism. Not even being a dick. But it's funny because money can get you a lot of things. It can get you power, it can get you into different circles. But it can only get you so much play. If you're weird and you're that same dork you were in high school, it's going to be very difficult. Not that. It shouldn't be that difficult for the average person. If you can hold on to a conversation. But if you're super weird, you have no personality. It's going to be very difficult. It's going to be very difficult. My personal take on this whole thing, whether I think the 25 years was worth it or not. No, I don't think it was worth it. Originally, he was sentenced to 50. Then it went down to 45. Now it's at 25 years in prison for defrauding investors. How much time would I give him? A few weeks. A few weeks. I would not, I'd let him out in June. Once the summer rolls around the corner, it's hot boy summer for SBF. Here's the thing. I don't like him as a person, but we need people like him in the world. The people who throw the best parties are the ones who were incredibly resentful in high school, had nothing to live for. They go home, they jerk off, they play League of Legends like SBF, but then they get a little bit of money and they're ready to take on the world. Sam Bankman Freed would be the guy who would get all the hog girls at his party, but he wouldn't be with one of them. He leave it for the rest of us. It's like the fat chick on the boat. They come on the boat. We supply them. The girl's dad says, everyone go have fun. And while it's Miranda's party, who's 286 foot four, Jessica is the light of the party. She's the energy. She's who all the dudes want to get with. She's the one. She's the one. Now, do I think Sam Bankman Freed did something wrong? Yeah. But we, we've all made mistakes. It's not the, the indication of a man isn't how many mistakes he he makes, but whether or not he repeats them. I say, we say, listen, buddy, you pissed off a lot of rich people. You pissed off the IRS. But as a man of second chances, I think depending whether or not you throw the party of the year, we let you back out on the street.